up, YouTube? Topaz Ace back with another requested review, and this one is to that Bugsy Colorado Dreams the Promotion video, in which, you know, I enjoy what you're doing here. You're reveling into your own success here, and here's the thing. You have to enjoy these milestones when they do happen because they don't happen too often. And if you're not going to enjoy it when they happen, then what's the point of even doing it, you dig? So here you are still enjoying the fact that you made it onto the radio and that's something that most artists can never say that they've done. But let's keep you focused here too, man. Like I said on the last video, in the grand scheme of things, you really haven't done much here. Because yes, a small percentage of underground rappers ever make it on the radio, but yet the people who do, they end up continually taking that one step at a time to reach the utmost success. And that's what you need to continue to stay focused at doing. But yet, I ain't mad at you, man, for making this because you're satisfying a bunch of different things here. See, this is cross-promotion at its finest, and I see that you have mastered this, man, of going to small businesses and such, man, and able to sell them like, look, I'm trying to do this this, you're doing this, man. Let's promote each other. Let's do each other a favor. Because not only are you promoting this Colorado Dreams, but you're also promoting your t-shirts. You're also promoting your models. You're promoting a lot of things here, but yet they're also promoting the skills of making tattoos and the tattoo shop. In which the tattoo shop is pretty much the way it needs to be all over the country, man, because it's a painful thing to get a tattoo. So therefore, you should be able to smoke weed at the shop and then get your tattoo done. And then you said something rather interesting on how you're trying to promote this Colorado Dreams to say South Park and to Comedy Central and all of that man and you know if you got the connects you should use them because that's something that a lot of rappers tend to mess up, man, because they think that they get some connections or something, dude, and never actually use them. They just say, I got it just in case if I ever need it, and then they just let it go. Because the reality of it, you never really know who's actually serious because you can always get a call of somebody in a business world or business setting and all that, man, but then after that, they never really actually wanted to do anything with you. They never actually wanted to call you or anything like that, man. And the longer that you don't tell them to see if they actually down to collaborate or do anything with you, man, then the longer you're wasting your time and bigging up your hopes for nothing. And if you can somehow get yourself put on with South Park, man, that is pretty big right there, dude, because there's a reason why South Park is still going on a lot like how The Simpsons is still going on, because people watch this stuff consistently. Like, I used to watch it a whole lot, but I fell completely off. Now, overall, it's excellent that you're taking something that is just you being happy about the success that you have seen and turning it into something productive. You're trying to turn that happiness into a positive relationship with this tattoo parlor that can actually turn into cross promotion, that can actually turn into sales. It's very smart. But there is something else that I definitely wanted to put you on here, man, because your YouTube channel, I've been looking at it, it's not that strong yet, dude, in which you have the ability to make it strong because this quality level of videos that you are consistently dropping, dude, you definitely can get more subscribers. You definitely can be more successful in that grand scheme as well to go directly to your fans. Now the promotion that you have been doing for quite some time man has been making a video, posting it up on Worldstar man and from what I was seeing you was getting around 5,000 to 10,000 views per video that you post up. I could be mistaken now. But as you can tell with all the money that you've been paying for that it hasn't been transitioning over to your YouTube channel to gather a bigger digital audience and such man and that's something that you can do better with. Instead of putting your money in world star hip hop in which all you're getting is a bunch of trolls sending you a lot of hate mail and such man you're really only getting but a few people that actually enjoy your stuff at a time you should be focusing more on google ad words and such man because it's more specific you can cater your own ad campaigns to direct individuals if you know who you try to target to like let me give you the best example I can give with me because I have been using google ads since a little here and a little there man trying to figure out exactly how to work it the right way. See, the first thing you do is you try to figure out the age ranges of the people that you need to watch your stuff. And YouTube actually does a pretty good job of this, man. When you get a whole bunch of views, they actually will categorize what age ranges are watching your videos and stuff, man. And my age ranges that watches my videos the most is 18 to 24 and 25 to 34, around those. So once I understood that, I built a whole campaign around certain videos. Like the last campaign that I built around was the big crit if I managed this individual. Now I went so specific with this video, I didn't have to spend any money to see if it was going to work out. Like honestly, I only put up $5 for it and I got like 300 views. 
See, you get the ability to choose how much money you are willing to spend when people click on your particular ads and such. If it pops up on their page and they don't click it, man, then they don't charge you anything. You can be more specific and put your videos on top of specific videos as long as you know exactly where your audience is going to watch stuff. But the main thing you got to get right is your keywords and such, man, because that's the main thing when they search in the Google whether your ads are going to pop up or not. Like for that video that I'm telling you about the whole if I manage big quick, the best keyword that I put in there was just Big Crit. Off of just that $5, man, I got 180,000 impressions and such, man. But an impression just means that people seen it, but yet they didn't click on it. And I didn't get that many clicks, but the clicks that I did get, some of it panned out into subscribers. Now, overall, you were still doing your thing, man. You definitely could use some tweaks in the promotional landscape and all of that, man. But I definitely enjoyed what you're doing here. Keep pushing and building up your relationships within people in your community. Keep pushing all of your records as far as you can go in the streets as well, but your digital side can use some help. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to DownloadPads.com that's down there to read today's article.